Welcome to Quiz Conform's app training video number two. This video will demonstrate how to configure advanced field validation rules using the Quiz Conform's app. In our demo today, we will continue developing the travel booking app that we developed in our previous video. We will show how to validate field values against manual values, tokens, and other field values. We will show how to target a validation rule to specific users or groups. We will show how to validate text fields using custom patterns. And finally, we will show how to do dynamic validation depending on column-based conditions. We start by going into the validation settings page. To do that, we open the QuizConforms app. When the QuizConformer app opens, we select Field Constraints. Now we can set constraints on the different fields. We are going to start by setting constraints on the travel return date and the travel start date fields. We're going to start by picking the start date field and setting a new rule for it by saying that it has to be greater than, and here we, we are going to use a token of today plus seven. The today token is so named because it is the word today sound by square brackets. This will be replaced in real time with the current date. The second rule we are going to create is on the travel return date. We are going to say that that one has to be greater or equal to the travel start date. Here again, we are using a token, but this time the token refers to another column the name of the other column, the travel start date. Using this technique, you can use any field in list when creating constraints. Simply remember to write the name of the field sound by square brackets for the token. When we go to test our validation, we see that if we now do a travel request, specifying a title, an employee, if we try to do a start date, that is in the past and a return date that is today, we will get one error, which is the travel date cannot be in the past. If we try to make the travel date in the future, but in the near future, we still get that error. And this time we also get an error for the return date that has to be greater than the start date. If we fix all these errors, the form would let us save the data. The next constraint we want to set up is making the culinary requirements field required, but only if the do you have any requirements checkbox is set to yes. To do that, we will select the culinary requirements field and add the constraint that it cannot be empty, but only with the condition that do you have any special requirements is yes. If we go back into the list to test this, and we edit an existing item, we can see that if the user selects yes on do you have any special requirements, the user is not able to save the, uh, the form without specifying what the requirements are. Now let's add another column to our list. This column will ask the users for the contact's phone number. This way the travel team will know who to call if there are any more questions about the travel request. This is a single line of text field. Regularly in SharePoint, we cannot constrain the user on what kind of text they can put in that field. Using the QuizConform app, we can add a special constraint on that field. If we go back into Field Constraints and choose the new column, the contact phone number, we can create a new rule and state that this column must match a pattern. We can select from the list of patterns the phone number pattern and we will tell the user if the phone number is not a valid phone number. Now when the user goes into a list item, 
and tries to type in a phone number that is invalid, we, we will get an alert that the phone number must match the phone, the phone number pattern. Once we put in a valid phone number in US format, the quiz conforms app will let us save the item. The last part of our constraint demonstration will show how we can put conditions on the constraints. Specifically, we want to target a constraint to specific users. If you recall, we already created a constraint that doesn't let users request travel less than a week in advance. Let's add a condition to that constraint that will allow members of the executive group to request urgent travel. To do this, let's get back into the Quiz Conforms app. We'll select Field Constraints again and edit the existing constraint rule that we created earlier for the travel start date. We add a condition to the constraint. The condition will be checking the current user and making sure the current user is not a member of the executive group. This way, the constraint only applies to regular users, while executives will be able to request urgent travel. We now save our new rule and go back to our list to test it. If we select a new item and try to set the start date to be in the near future, we of course have to specify a title and a traveling employee and all the other required fields. The form now let us save an, a request for an event that's in the near future. That is because our current user is a member of the executive group. If we want to test it, we'll need to remove our current user from the executive group. And then we can go, go and try again to create a travel request that's in the near future. Now our user is a regular user, and when that user tries to do an urgent travel request, the constraint will not let the user save the item. But as per our regular condition, when the user requests travel that starts in more than a week, the constraint will allow the user to save the item. In this demo, we have added conditions to the travel booking app. We saw how to validate field values with tokens like today, other field values, and custom patterns. We also learned how to target validations to specific users or groups. We added dynamic validation conditions that only validated a field when the value of another field was set to a certain value. Our next video will show you how to convert the form we have just built to a multi-columned and multi-tabbed form. Thank you for watching the QuizCom Forms app training video.